Now that we've seen the properties of the standard normal distribution and also how to use the table, let's do a few examples. Let's find the area to the left of z-score 1.25. First, we must sketch and label the normal curve shading the desired area. We know that 1.25 as a z-score is higher than the mean, so we are looking for the area to the left of z-score 1.25, as is drawn here. Step 2 is to look up the cumulative area in the appropriate table. Because our z-score is positive, we must use the positive z-score table. So first we find 1.2 and 0 0.05, and then the area value associated to that combination, which is 0 0.8944, or 89.44%. The third step is to verify that what the table gives us as a value fits what we're actually looking for. In this case, we were looking for the area to the left, and this is what the table offers. So we do not have anything else to do except to state that the area to the left of the z-score of 1.25 is of 0 0.944, or 89.44%. Now it's your turn. Pause the video and find the area to the left of z-score minus 0 0.82. That's correct. The area to the left of z-score minus 0 0.82 is of 0 0.2061. But what if we're looking for an area to the right of a z-score? Let's try with a z-score of minus 0 0.82. We must first sketch what we're looking for. So we have to identify where, according to the mean, our z-score is. Because this is negative, our z-score will be to the left of the mean. So we are looking to the area on the right of that z-score, like so. Then, taking the negative z-score table, we find the area related to our minus 0.82 z-score, which gives us 0.2061. Remember that the table gives us the value to the left of a z-score, but we're looking for the value to the right of a z-score. So the area value we have obtained of 20.61% represents this portion to the left of the z-score. Remember also the properties of the normal distribution. The total area under the curve is equal to 1. As such, the area to the left, which is 20.61%, plus the area to the right is equal to 1. We can rearrange to 1 minus 0 0.2061 is equal to the area to the right, which is equal to 0.7939, which is equal to 79.39%. Now it's your turn again. Try finding the area to the right of z-score minus 1.93. That's correct. The area to the right of z-score minus 1.93 is of 97.32%. We can also find probabilities or areas between two given values. Say you are looking for the area between z-scores of 0.52 and 1.30. Again, the first thing to do is to sketch what you are looking for. Then, you look the areas to the left of both of the z-scores. So for z-score 1.30, the area is 0.9032, and for z-score 0.55, the area is 0 0.7088. This case is a bit trickier because we are looking for an area between two z-scores. You could see it like this. We're looking for the area to the left of z-score 1.30, to which we will subtract the area to the left of z-score 0.55. This will give us the final result we are looking for, which is 19.44%. Pause the video and try to find the area between z-score minus 0.71 and z-score 1.02. If you did this correctly, you should end up with a final area of 0 0.6072.